The battle for your desktop is almost 30 years old, and in one corner, a media giant that grew from a scrappy contender who dared to think different. In the other corner, the software juggernaut with a name that covers both office work and gaming. Today, we're putting them head to head as we compare the Mac OS X with Windows 8. And let's start with the Mac. Mac users celebrated the release of the most recent Mac OS not too long ago. We're at version 10.8 now, nicknamed Mountain Lion, but it's built on a strong Unix-based foundation that was first released 11 years ago. Well, a lot has changed in that time. We've gone from fun, almost lickable buttons to smooth, sexy aluminum. It's a friendly interface that users have learned to love for over a decade. That solid Unix core underneath means security isn't much of an issue. While you still need to be careful with what you install, there aren't any widespread malware threats to OS X. Apple also has a rep for great customer service. People laugh when they introduce the Genius Bar, but it's proven to be a huge success. Ordinary people want to be able to walk into a store and talk to an expert. The one-to-one -one lessons they offer are also popular as they help to bring new users into the fold. But Apple's real secret is the ecosystem. You've got the iPhone, iPad, iPod, airport networking, Apple TV, and your Apple computer, all working together. It's pretty cool when you go all Apple all the way. The downside, well, unless you want to build a Hackintosh, you're buying a Mac computer from Apple, and that means you're going to pay more. The average price of a Mac is higher than a PC, but generally includes higher quality materials and some pretty impressive stuff when it comes to fit and finish. And for those who are looking for something new and bold, you won't find it in the Mac OS. It's got the same basic look and feel that it's had since 2001. On the flip side, we've got Windows 8, and it's definitely different. There's no arguing that Microsoft really hit it out of the park with Windows 7. It was a huge success and started to really move people to new computers. But it seems like there's a Windows curse. Even numbered versions like Vista and 8 seem to have a rough time. This time around, that's not a surprise. Microsoft has gone in a whole new direction with the user interface. So you can get the same experience on your phone, your tablet, your game system, and your computer. They've added touch into the heart of it all. So as you upgrade to touch-enabled computers, you'll find you can do fun new things with your machine. With Win8, Microsoft is doubling down on the cloud, connecting everything to their online services like SkyDrive, Mail, People, and Games. Everything's synced up to your Microsoft profile so you can download all your stuff to a new PC easily when you need to. There's also a new app store built in with apps that are gonna try to change the way you use your PC. Windows 8 apps take the Windows out of Windows they're full screen apps that are always connected. Microsoft says it's the way to use apps in the future. Live tiles also stand out. Seeing everything you need at a glance on the new Windows 8 tiled interface is a great way to stay up to date without having to switch focus from what you're doing. The key word here is change and there's lots of it. And for the first time, Microsoft actually has fewer apps available. The Mac App Store has nearly 10 times as many titles as the new Windows 8 App Store. The new UI can be a bit scary, so it's making some users think about choosing between a Mac or PC when they upgrade. Now, if you're moving from Windows 7, it can be a harder choice. Windows 7 is a solid platform that does a lot of things right. The big difference here is that Windows 8 is breaking new ground with features like live tiles and full screen apps. If you're in the market for something new, Windows 8 definitely fits the bill. So picking an operating system isn't any easier now than it was 30 years ago, and the battle for your desktop continues. The only question left is, whose side are you on?